Hello everybody, welcome back to the People's Colloquy. Uh, it's your boy V-Dots, we're back on this. It's been a minute uh, and a half, uh, maybe even an hour. But yeah, we're back, we're back, we're back. We're back with a interesting show today. We're gonna showcase a wonderful foundation that uh, a friend of mine is gonna tell you more about. Um, but anyway, before I get started, let me introduce everybody. We have Tavo, I'm no longer Frank. It is, so yeah. Kelly Woha, thank you. We are here. It's been a while. I don't know. It's been an hour. <laughs> I was thinking maybe more 57 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. And then we have over there. It's a total day. You can call me Don Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> Don Picasso. Okay. <laughs> and over there. Don Picasso. Don Picasso. Don Picasso. Yes. The picture perfect. Man. That's nice. Yeah, man. Hey, I'm not going to give you government names, man. Just call me Bulls. That's it. That's the uh, Sepoy Bulls over there. So, yeah, guys, welcome back to the colloquy. Free round of applause there. I'm, I'm, someone just heard that sound. <laughs> um, yeah, so like I said, you're going to speak about uh, Mr. Duteke's foundation. Um, it's called You Are Global. But, yeah, go for him. So, Togo, what is You Are Global? Yeah, man. Um, first of all, thank you for, for having me, guys. Um, ah, no problem. You, you are, you are, actually, the U R stands for Ubuntu Renaissance, so it's Ubuntu Renaissance Global. Sorry, what's the, what, what is it? It's Ubuntu Renaissance Global. <laughs> Ubuntu Renaissance Global. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so the, it's management. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what is uh, wow, Ubuntu Renaissance? So, that's more about that, man. Yeah. So, so the, 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 I think the, the name of the organization itself uh, it actually paints the picture. Mm-hmm. So uh, we, we are trying to restore Ubuntu in our communities and hopefully do it at a global scale. So that's why we are okay, okay. So enough. it's actually a non-profit organization that was actually... I hate non <laughs> 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 okay. Why are you doing it if it's not profitable? <laughs> Why? Let him, let him tell us. Let him tell us. Because <laughs> the issue is that uh, as as uh, I'm from where I am, as I grew up there, so you see the challenges around you as you grow up in, in the area, and you, you you want to to make it so you can go back and uplift them. Because mm. there's this issue with us. I'm not. I don't want to rationalize, rationalize this, but there's this thing you would see. You want to be the one who's the most successful, like the first one. Alone. Just, alone. It's just you alone, yeah. So now what we are trying to do is to bring the entire community with us. Oh, that's, that's, so that's, 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 that's basically. Get, get rid of the first black person to do this. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's why then we are going back to the community and giving back and be like, you know what? Let's get these people the opportunities that we didn't have. Hence, you are global, it's actually... Uh, we're teaching teacher skills in what area. Yeah, I was going to ask, so how, 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 are you, how are you guys, what do you guys actually do? So that that doesn't bring you profit. But, <laughs> but you're able to continue. Okay. No, I'm, I'm it maintain it. There's no profit. Uh, I, I so, listen to the radio. Yeah, listen to the radio. Yes, listen to the radio. So, so what do you guys actually do? There's actually two parts of your global. There is what we call MRTP. So it's Mobile Rural Technology Park. Mobile so, Rural Technology Park. Yes. So that okay. one is where we go to different uh, communities with our laptops and go and teach basic engineering computing programming and robotics Whoa. now that's part that's one part and then if i feel, if i may on the mrt sounds more like brt <laughs> um, so, so so you say you go with your laptops to the yes. community and then you teach skills yes and then what happens after teaching skills so what happens to the laptops do they stay in the community or they leave the community no no no, no, no. we it's our equipment so we okay. go to each and every community and teach and take our com- uh, our equipment with and move to the next one. Okay. So that's the, the, the first part. Is this in the, I'm so, sorry, is this in the rural areas or? In the rural areas. We are currently in KZN and Eastern Cape. We've got about 30 schools all together. I think 17 in, in Eastern Cape and the, 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 the rest is in KZN. But wow. every year we get new requests. Like last week we just had a request from Flyhead. So that's our, that's okay. our new school. So we are more than 30 right now. Yeah, so so, so, <laughs> schools, so, so from, 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 from a point, like from my question, Sorry. <laughs> wait, wait. Tell me my before, question. No, no, no. Before we go further, before we go further, I just yes. wanted to add. Okay. Hey, we've got like 80 people watching this, right? A thousand. A thousand. <laughs> we can do better. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's the most non profit thing. Stop saying non profit. We, we can Jeez. do better. So, so, looking from a point that you want to share skills that are very limited, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, 
the same people that are watching with a thousand or whatever the number might be. After this is going to pay a million. Yeah. What role can they play in it? Because I would assume, or maybe based on experiences, that if you in tech, everything is based more on practice. Practice. Okay. Practice. So if you take the laptop away, mm-hmm. practice falls away, so that skill is gone. What is it that we can do? So, uh, as, as you mean as in the people, like people like you, what can they do to no, no. To, 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 back, to contribute to the organization? I can buy them like so 50 rand, that will power up. I think, Tom, let's, 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 let's get to that part. Okay. Um, let's let him first give us a profile on the business itself. Okay, okay, let me, let me, okay, I'm going to get to your question. I like that question, it's very interesting. So let me get to the second part. Yes. I gave the MRT, MRT. side. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, the other part is the main aim. This is like our huge project. We want to have a youth center okay. where, where it, I think it's going to answer that question in a way. Mm. So where we're going to have equipment that's based there. Okay. So mm. kids can come from any village and come and practice there in right. our center. Oh, okay. yeah. So that's... we are so lucky that we have, we have spoken to our local chiefs uh, in, in collaboration with the Department of uh, Rural Development and Agriculture. Mm. So they gave us two hectares of land. Oh wow! So we got land land. Land. <laughs> so, so we got the land. So you got the land. You got, got the land. land. <laughs> we got the land. Now, smile, now we need <laughs> now now we need the capital to start. No building. EFF. <laughs> yeah. So now all we need is the capital to start building, but we've, we've actually permitted our land, and we, we we actually got someone who's got a construction company to level the the field. Yeah. So currently we're just trying to raise funds to actually build that center. We've also we already have a plan and luckily with your job we got we get a lot of people that assist us pro bono. So one of our partners, LM Design, he actually designed our um, center. So okay. we, we, we have a plan. We have a plan. Wow. Just, oh, just, man, that's great. That's, I that's actually great have news. a fantastic idea for this <laughs> that's a great regarding news. that. But uh, yeah, we'll just you pop, pop, you pop it off <laughs> offline. Off, off, off off yeah, line. Just trying to you've already started on the wrong foot with this non profit. <laughs> but it's fine. Yeah, I think it's a fantastic initiative, actually. Yeah, thank you. Thank so, you. so, I mean, just to the, the, the sheer logistics of it, then, how do you guys actually even get around to all these places? Who do you find the time, my friend? And so, who funded you first to, to actually get this thing off the ground? Okay, so. You don't uh, have to say names, but just. Yes, no, I must say names. So, so when you co-founded, we co-founded the organization, there were three of us. It was myself, Mr. Ramzob, and Dr. Ludegam Kuzo. And the, it's actually a brainchild of Dr. Ludegam Kuzo. Doctor? Dr. Ludegam Kuzo. So she's our M- MD. So she quit a job to, wow. to focus on this initiative. And when she quit a job, then she got some money from the company because she had been working for a money company for like more than 10 years. Yeah. And then that's where we got a startup capital then to be able to oh, buy so she the used the That is selfless. Yes. That is so selfless. Yes. Yeah, that's and then, then we were able to Very buy selfless. the equipment. And we're also using a, a buggy. That's a family buggy. But, <laughs> but we're using it to actually uh, go to these different schools. Mm. So that's that's how we move around currently. Hopefully you guys can, can find us, fund us. <laughs> yes, guys, definitely. Yeah. We, 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 in fact, hey, 30 viewers. We're going we're gonna to put um, the UR Global... Contact uh, information on the chat, mm-hmm. um, and any I think probably a link if uh, a, 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 a link to, to their to their page, and you guys are able to view all the things about you are global and help in any way you can. Yeah, yeah, and, and we've got a website, so they can also check us out on www.uarglobal.co.za Okay, and also say that slowly. Okay, it's www.uarglobal.co.za Thank you. And then we also have um, a presence in social media. Which of is course, of end. course. <laughs> but this, this, this thing you have to. <laughs> so in social media, you can yeah. find us at your global SA in all our pla- in all the platforms. At your, your global, global SA. SA, yes. And as so, my profile in your global is the head of IT. So the social media is actually what I'm heading. I've got a, a group of young people that are running those pages for us. So, okay. Yeah, I think I think the the youth is the future. Yeah, I, think, I, I mean, you, you, you yourself, uh, you yourself are a very a very youthful man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite youthful. Yourself. I mean, and, and and since he's now speaking about you. It's always good to know to get get the background on the person actually involved in the foundation. Where are you from, so? So I'm from a rural, this is why rural matters to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from a rural area called uh, Lupindusuemi and uh, Bizarre and Eastern Cape. Wow. So that's where I grew up and I did my lower grades there. And then um, I went to pursue my high school in a small town called Coxstead. And then 
I've, I've, I've heard about Cockstar before. I won't say who 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 I won't yeah. Next to the toughest prison in the country. Come on. Oh, wow. <laughs> you have to be strong. <laughs> Come on. That's what you have to be. You have to be strong. Is that actually the toughest prison in the country? Yeah. yeah. Bongwe. Yeah. 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 What happens to yeah. white yeah. makes it Wait, tough. you don't have to go to prison. No, no, no. Yeah. Go get sidetracked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you are clothing. Right. So, so, I just don't so, want to be arrested <laughs> in box style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's not so, that's that's cool. I, I think my story will tell you my why I'm so passionate about uplifting rural areas. Because mm. I grew up in abject poverty. And... It was the community that raised me. Like mm-hmm. for me to to be able to get to to teach in high school, they had to take community to like, oh, we want to help here and there. How can we help? Oh wow! And mm-hmm. now I also so so there's a lot that links as well. So that's why I'm also head of IT because my background in teach I did computer systems and okay. and and, and, and uh, computing as well. So I've got quite with those two. So then that's what then makes the picture <laughs> come, come together so when it comes to digital yeah, skills yeah. and. That's why then I, I'm able to assist because we're also doing coding uh, curriculum. So I assist wow. coding curriculum. Coding but, is the future. Coding, yeah. is, the future. coding is the future profession. It's, the form, it's a new form of working. Yeah. Exactly, because you know the issue, the, the thing, uh, uh, Bahodi, is with, with, with um, the world going towards 4IR, everyone is talking 4IR, everyone. But the thing is, if you look at your peri-urban and suburban communities, and you go to the rural areas, the divide is so huge. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. So that's what we are trying to preach as well, Global, to say, let's give those kids the same platform as their counterparts from these different communities. Yeah. So they can start at the same at least, sort of, yeah. at least, it's not the same, but at least when they get to each other, they know what coding is. Because I think coding is the future. I think we all agree. So it, 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 it actually stems from that. Oh, so, you, so you grew up in, that, in, in, in a rural area. Yeah. You, the community came together. Yeah. Ubuntu was displayed. Ubuntu, yes. Ubuntu was displayed. Oh, as uh, Tom Cruise, uh, sidebar, Tom Cruise spoke about Ubuntu. Yeah. Ubuntu. Yeah, Ubuntu. Yeah, I saw that really I was like, I was like <laughs> oh my gosh, Ubuntu. Hey, hey. <laughs> she's a top guy. It is top guy, it is top guy. So, you know what I like about my communities? When it comes to Ubuntu, you, you, are, you are not only your parents' child. child. Mm, the, the community the actually raises well. you. Yeah. They, they have a right to be your parent Utada, Utada, whenever like an old man is your father right. so these are the people that gave us the platform it's only like you know it's it's, it's very sad here in like in, in Jobek or in the big cities mm. it's so easy to find you guys in young in corporate because it's like to, to you it's like it's, it's normal, normal. It's it's normal. normal. Life, but we yeah. had to fight <laughs> <laughs> but where I come yeah. from it's only a few of us that actually get to that level yeah. and then when you go back home like on holidays of December and you see that things have been changed since you've been there, when you started there, they're still the same. Yeah. So you have to do something to, to bring about that's, changing that's that community. So noble, man. Okay. So, so, again, the community came together to get you to get your qualification. Yes. So that same community, when you go back to it, my friend, how does that feel for you? I mean, you, you're able to, to, to help, to, to show it's possible kids, look at me, I'm from the same place. I mean, how does that make you feel? I think uh, uh, it's not about me per oh. se. It's 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 it, it helps that there's a few of us that made it out of the community, and mm. then when you go there, these kids, most of them, they saw how you grew up, so they know you are one of them. Like we all have the same point. resources, we have point, exactly. Yeah. So one of the, the, the like when I, we go to to these different schools, but we started in my village in in the Pilsen JS as well as I did my lower primary grade. So. It was so nice to go back there and look at the kids sitting in the same class that I used to sit in mm. and now being able to tell them that, you know what guys, because the most important part is to boost the confidence because village kids are so smart yeah. and it's the confidence yeah. that's yeah. lacking because yeah. they don't have these resources. So the main yeah. aim, it's just that we are using They don't digital. see themselves in the same way as kids in the urban area. Exactly. Exactly. Where, where in fact they actually are, have the smarts and have the time as well. Yeah. Exactly. It's just the resources that they don't have. So. The, we are using the, the digital skills that we are teaching. It's just one channel that we are trying 
to use to uplift these kids. But in a way, what we are trying to do is to give them confidence that you are the same as the other guy who's in the, who yeah. grew up in the suburbs. You you got you've got the same kind of playing ground. So you can be whatever that you, you dream to be, but then computers are the best way to do it. When the kids start learning how to code, when you give them that small code, hello world, and they see that they created that, it just <laughs> makes hello. when you see it, when you see when you see how happy they are, it just fulfills what they are doing. You know, you know, can I can I just jump in to what you're saying? For me, from just listening to you talk about the transformation that something like coding can community it's it's like when peter parker got bit by the spider you yeah know what I'm saying? because one. and you're absolutely right because you know the differences between the urban or how kids in the urban areas versus the rural areas i mean the disparity is so wide that the only thing that could actually bridge that gap is technology wow Bravo. You know, that's it Bravo. so you're doing something not not just noble but it's actually fantastic because you, you might actually be chartering a way for the government to actually sort that out, you know, in terms oh, of being able to bridge the gap between urban and rural. Uh, look, a couple of tenders to a couple of uncles won't do that. No. Yeah, yeah. But if a, if a child knows how to use a laptop and a computer and they're able to create their own opportunities from that, I mean, we, we've seen, history has shown us, yeah. that... Kids from the rural areas in South Africa are super, super smart. Yes. You know, you find the, the kid from uh, from from uh, KZN who uh, came came uh, who, who who put together a new jet fuel, for instance. You know, yes. they're not from the urban areas. They're not from uh, areas where access is there. You know, and you know, you know, sorry to catch to catch that. And if you look at like the continent at large, Africa. If you look at our leaders, most of them, they grew up in rural areas. Yeah. The leaders in the continent and also in, in, in the South African perspective. So, and now they're taking us back to <laughs> <laughs> So, so you, they know. So you know. Like, different topic. Different topic. <laughs> yeah. So this, well, is what, this, this is what well, I like about Machu Picchu is that this, this thing is global. It's not, that's why we are here at global. Because you are global. if you look at UN, the Sustainable Development Goals, there, there is economic growth and there is equality, gender equality. If in, in our classes, we've got about 60% female students that mm. we've taught. And that, that's okay. That's, that's what we want. Yeah. And also, we, we, we say no to poverty. So it's, we're trying to create an economy in, in rural areas. Yeah. Because one of the things that we do is when we go to your community, we, we actually ask the leaders of that community to give us one person who's unemployed, youth, preferable, so that they can assist us and then we pay them a stipend for that week that we are there. Okay. And also, we also ask that they give us a family that's, that's not well off, like that's not doing well financially. So that while we're staying there, that week that we're staying there, we pay that family. Like it's, we pay like how we should pay a BNB. Accommodation. And yeah. Stuff, yeah. Okay. So that we can, we can create some sort of rural economy in a way. Mm. And we, we've got some good stories to tell, man. Like, you know, some of our alumni, now they've got jobs because we've got certification. Mm. So we've got... Oh, do you guys, sorry, do you guys give certificates? Of yes, we, we also... Mm. We that also, is that is really, that's really amazing. Yeah, yeah. so it, it also like, um, your people are now... Legit. When, <laughs> the most important thing is legit. <laughs> yes. Like all the other things that are just... <laughs> we, we, we can give you CISA accreditation. Yeah. We also can give you just a competition certificate. Yeah. So if you want CISA accreditation, we've got our partner. So when we started, there was three of us. Now there's about 20 of us because... A lot of people want to give back to the communities, yes. but they don't know how. Mm. They think you need to be rich in order for you to give, oh, yeah, to give, to give back. back. Yes. But if you wait until you're rich, you'll end up not helping anybody. Correct. Mm. So now, when they hear our story on social media, they will come. Like for example, we've got a lot of like uh, professionals who are giving us us their services free of charge. We've got data scientists, we've got wow. lawyers that are like, wow. I also want, I'm from the village too. Yeah, I want to help. So we, the, 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 our CETA partner is actually a lady that's got her own company that's mm. accredited. That partner is with us and he's also, she's also from rural areas. Yes. So she was like, I also want to raise a hand and do a pro bono. So it, it's really amazing when you see mm -hmm. a lot of people collaborating to make the dream come true. So your global is not even about us. It's not about the, the founders. It's, 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 it's a community project. It's I was, was going to ask... Like at some point in this interview, I was gonna ask, where do you see you are global? What is it that you wanna do? But I, I think I'm it's, just gonna keep quiet. You know what I'm saying? Is yeah, I'm just gonna keep quiet. The, 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 so the way it sounds, guys, enjoy it's, it. It's so can I can I can can I, can I, can I, can I, can I interject? 
So this is way way we see. Let me answer that. I, I like that question. No, I, I, yes. I was not going to ask because I can see. <laughs> let but the, yes, let me <laughs> play you this picture. So, firstly, right now we started in the Eastern Cape. Mm. Okay, right now we we, we are in KZN. So we see our project is very scalable. So now we want to go national. We need the resources, obviously. Mm-hmm. And and now we also have partners in Africa because we want to go to the entire continent. In Namibia, we've got Apply, who's our partner. They were like, well, how are you guys doing? Can you teach us how to do the same thing mm. in Namibia? Yeah. In Ghana, we've got partners. In Zimbabwe, we've got partners. Oh. So it's really, it, we want to take this globally. It's not about South Africa per se. It's about any rural kid anywhere in the world. To say, you know what? It's about giving a child an opportunity. Okay, to before land. we get to the world, let's start with Africa. Though. Yeah. Okay. Start I, I want to ask. I, I mean, obviously, all of this doing, uh, it takes some doing. Ha, have the government reached out to you guys? Have you guys reached out to the government at all? Have they actually assisted you in this instance? Or? Nah, that's a, that's a beautiful question. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, uh, when, we, when we started, because we, we started in the Eastern Cape, uh, Cape of Repensive so we, Land, so we, we, we reached out to the provincial uh, uh, leadership mm-hmm. in education sector. And they said, okay, we must send them the proposal. So they know that we are there. Okay. And we, 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 we kind of waiting for that time to say they are coming fully in. Mm-hmm. But I must actually, I must give a shout out to, to Afro Dizou, uh, District Municipality because the, the, the leadership in the Department of Education there is very interested in our project. We, now we are teaching the teachers. Oh, so, because oh, wow. so, that's why, because we don't want to, when we leave, oh. we want the, the, the learning to continue. continue. Yeah. So, we, to, to answer your question, yes, Eastern Cape Department knows, knows us and the, the KZN. And um, two years ago, we also reached out to the National um, uh, Department of Education. Mm. And then we had a conversation. However, they, nothing has been fruitful from that perspective, but we are hoping that one day um, they will come to us. You know, um, yeah. it's, always, it's, always, it's, always, it's always easy to. Okay, yeah, our government, yeah. but yeah. you know, when we, we, we do good things, we must always have uh, of course. That. So, we're very happy. Thank you, Alfred and Solicitor Penalty. Well done. Um, the rest of y'all, please, uh, let's shape up, guys. Let's, no, let's, they, get, they, let's get in there. The yeah. government is supporting <laughs> us, man. We, so, yeah, guys, um, any, 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 any parting questions, my friends? No, I would say that this is fantastic. This is a great example of what can be done in South Africa. Mm. Um, you don't have to be a, a very self absorbed person in your. Mm house, apartment, or whatever the case is, with all the, the, the niceties that are afforded to you, and not be able to participate in other people's growth. Um, mm. Here's a great example. Uh, even though I hate NPOs, <laughs> I hate NPOs but if NPOs are going to be doing this kind of work, then that's fantastic. We must uh, yeah. encourage them all we can. And uh, the government, I hope uh, they're listening, hey, because... To be honest with you, the future voter is going to worry about things like this mm. and uh, it's going to determine whether you get our endorsement or not. So you yeah. just need to wake up. And, all, and also at that point, you know, um, as, as the youth ourselves and also as the community at large, um, yes, the government has the accountability and responsibility to sort of um, look after the community or sort of create ways for the community to thrive. But I feel we also have a responsibility to, to self start. Let's do something with let's yeah. with the government. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. and you know, we, we are grateful because we've been partnering with also a lot of, uh, and in academia, we've got a lot of partners like DET is on board, wow. Rhodes is on board, Kids is on board. Mm. And I also want to shout out to SAP Foundation. Because they like how we get our money most of the time is through the funds. And that's a yeah, money, I'm a peer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave <be> here, <laughs> yeah. 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 But, <laughs> but that's that. And also, like, you know, uh, uh, our leader, uh, Dr. Lilian Kuzo, was also part of Tech Women and she was, she was actually um, based in, in, in Silicon Valley for, for a, a good month in April. Wow. So, so we've also created some sort of, a, a, we've started a discussion with April to say, guys, you see, this is the future because Africa is going to invest right now. Yeah. Because there's a lot of growth that our our continent is really rich with. Because if you look at the, the the first world countries, they've already done everything. So Africa is interested because untapped. there's a lot that still needs to be done. Yeah. So it's untapped. Yes. Okay. So, so I just want. Oh. Oh. Oh no, I can't feel like I'm a very long hole or something. Salimi. Salimi. Same way as we have the gold rush, 
now we have a tech rush and this man is the forefront. Wherever you are, if you think you've got a role to play, you can write a code. You can spare a laptop, you can yes, spare laptops. a printer, or whatever that you can. Come on, man. We here. The man is here. We'll leave his details like Badul Baholi said. Rasha, can you move? Thanks, Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, okay, just parting comments on my side. I thought I was done already, but <laughs> Af- Africa is the youngest uh, population, has the youngest population yeah. in the world and in the future. So you must always take that into context when you see all these things that are happening in the world, more especially uh, with regards to what's happening in Africa and economic hitmen coming in and trying to cause all sorts of issues. The reason why we need to sort out ourselves is because we are the future of the world. Now, one thing we don't want to do is uh, get to a point where we we are an unprepared future, and the future happens, and those who are prepared come and they steamroll us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, what this young man is doing is fantastic. He's basically giving rural kids uh, a great opportunity uh, and a chance, really, to survive in the future world. If you strongly feel that you want to get behind that, please uh, contact him, get, t- get in touch with him, help him with either equipment or, or money for the for the organization, the NPO as they call it. Um, and please, just you know, um, in your own little way, this is how you can reach out and help. Um, because to be honest with you, we all we got. Yeah, and just last, just last, last, uh, parting uh, shot from you, sorry. and you can also reach out to us. Uh, our email address ubuntu at uaclopan.co.za and also the new schools because we, we always get new schools every year and our schedule is really tight so if you are a village principal you're very school teacher or principal and you want to reach out to us just give us a request at ubuntu at uaclopan.co.za we're going to come and teach to your school free of charge we're not charging anything oh, that's awesome yeah. all <laughs> right <laughs> guys um that's that's the show that's the show um again all the details regarding your logo will be i will be on our social media as well will be in the description we'll just speak to um, um and over there they had a camera there see <laughs> put it. but there will be ways and means on how to get in contact with mr yeah. how to get in touch with your logo how to need a helping hand and yeah we appreciate all the things guys if you yourself have anything you want to showcase you know how to reach us like always say we we this channel this platform is to showcase and push anything to do with uplifting us as a people. So yeah, thank you very much, Nsogo. Thank you, you are global. Peace. Peace. Go fair. Peace. 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 Peace.